Hey guys, this is a review, short review about the sheath and this leather sheath that I made recently. It's for my uh, SC, SCE5 knife, Serato knife. Up the knife aside. And uh, as you can see, that is the whole sheath, uh, the whole design coming from um, Hedgehog Leatherworks. I mean, these guys are genius. Paul Shire is a genius. Um, I borrowed the design from the other sheet for uh, Tom Brown Tracker and um, as you can see that the whole thing is um, is almost identical. First thing I want to talk about this uh, is this retention belt and it's also a uh, Hedgehog Leatherworks design originally. Um, it's very useful, it's very functional, very fond of it. And uh, I w what I want to point out is that the, uh, the the bungee cord the bungee cord may uh, may be worn out over time, but you can always change it. it I mean, it, it's changeable. the the uh, The original design is also changeable. But I um, I didn't take the uh, the stud here. The uh, the original design from Hedgehog Leatherworks. They used the uh, the stud for also for the lock for uh, for for knife lock but i didn't use that i picked the snaps because i think over over time also over that over time the small hole here you can see the small hole here will will be used out too and it, it will be uh, deformed it will be uh, stretched and deformed and it, it's not good for uh, security purposes so I chose the uh, snaps button. Now this works good. It just it m perhaps it makes a little bit noise, but I don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, yeah, the pouch. I like this design. The strip. As you can see, I, I also I also uh, add the strip uh, in the pouch. I mean, if you if you put something. Uh, for example, this this little box, the little box of a dental floss. If you if you put it in, I mean, without the strip, you probably can never pull it out because it, there's no space for fingers or anything else. But with this strip, it's very simple. You can see. So it's very functional. As you can see, there's drain hole here. get this out yeah there it is and also there's a large drain hole here for a knife oh yeah so when the rains or uh, when there's some moisture some water inside it'll help the sheet to uh, to get rid of the water or uh, dry it faster and another thing I want to talk about is uh, the fire starter holster. It's folded by one piece of leather, a thick leather you can see. The one thing that bothers me always is that it's it's not quite nicely fixed. You can see. You you can actually you can hear the, the noise when you carry it. You yeah, can hear the noise. It's it's very it's not very uh, stable here. So that's something that I want to improve in my next work, perhaps. One thing, one more thing I want to talk about is the the belt. In my opinion, it's it's functional, but uh, in this model, it's a little bit too narrow. I mean, the leather it's thick; it's a uh, four millimeter thick. It's a um, very, very sturdy, very tough material. But uh, this this is just a little bit too narrow for me, so um, I'm gonna make it perhaps a little bit wider in the in my next work. So when I first uh, start started to uh, decided to make this leather sheath, I uh, I forgot totally that I myself is a uh, left-handed person so it's kind of like a bomber to me 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know how I was so stupid. F I forgot it totally. So uh, I'm gonna remake another one um, with left handed style, and um, mm, I'm gonna make an improvement in order to make it interchangeable. That means uh, it can change size. You can you can you can choose to carry it in your left side or you know right side because this one doesn't change it's totally fixed you can you can see here two big pop rivets yeah it, it's for one time use if you are uh, gonna remove it you're, you're gonna have to um, um, drill, drill into, the, into the hole and uh, remove it and then remake another one so what I'm gonna do next time is to probably to remove it and uh, and then it's not, not just remove replace it with a with a kind of um, screw rivet uh, uh, thick enough to uh, to get through all four layer of leather. I want it carried in my left side. I can easily un un undo the sh the the. Uh, the rabbit and change this into another side. Yeah. So another thing that uh, doesn't make me uh, very satisfied is that these small rabbits that I made. When when I made it, I didn't notice it. Actually, uh, Hedgehog Leather Works. Uh, they uh, they did stitches uh, aside at the pouch. Uh, they didn't use the rabbit. I now see the reason because it's not beautiful. It's not. It's. <laughs> it's. It's not cool. There with these little bodies, you can see the uh, the whole thing. It's just a little too much. There are just too much shiny little things on the leather. I mean, it's not pretty, like at all. So uh, I'm gonna just uh, let uh, leave these two and these two, probably this and these two little buddies, and I'm gonna remove this and replace it, replace them with uh, stitching. Next time, yeah. so you can see plenty, plenty of rabbits. <laughs> And uh, another thing that keeps bothering me is here. The uh, you can see a little here the the little knots, the little uh, stitching uh, no um, thread knots. Because the thread is waxed, so the knots get bigger and uh, got thicker. I, I I don't know what to do about. <laughs> I mean, there's something um, some some buttons or I don't know what to call it to 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 hide to uh, hide it behind the uh those little things but I don't want to use it because it's uh it's too much yeah, it's too much too but I really don't know what to do with it because it's it's too obvious it's too exposed and um kind of ugly <laughs> And talking about the make of this leather sheath, I did a lot of homework for that. I mean, I'm not a professional. This is my first piece of work with leather, and uh, I didn't have any experience. Um, I learned it totally, learned from internet. Um, I checked out many videos on YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, videos from, uh, for example, Dracona 70. Uh, and other guys, I mean, their work is great, totally inspired. Um, so, uh, I first made this paper models this is for the pouch. Let's see, this is for the pouch, <laughs> and uh, and this for for the uh, for the sheath itself. This it, this is the uh, the the centerpiece um, in the middle of the sheet to keep the knife um, 
fixed to keep the knife safe. And this is the belt with the uh, with the center plate to hold the uh, the pouch. I mean, uh, it's not easy, but uh, it's not impossible. <laughs> I mean, if I can do it, if you want, you can do it totally. All you need is the proper tools and piece of leather, and you get it done. Uh, the leather I used, I uh, I bought it on the internet too. Um, I mean, this leather is really of good quality. It's very thick, very rigid, and um, very tough. A tough piece. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, the color is beige. And it's it's this natural color. Uh, I cut off the pieces and then I, I I got them dyed, but I couldn't do anything with the border. You see, the border is it's kind of uh, unfinished because I I didn't have the uh, border oil, Japanese or uh, something like that. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of uh, wild. But I'm proud of it. I think, uh, I yeah, I, I really think that it's gonna last. I, I can't say as um, Hanshan Leatherworks guaranteed five, 25 years. I don't know, <laughs> but 10 years, I can I can I can make sure that it'll hold it'll hold on. It'll last at least for 10 years. A very thick piece of leather. And uh, retention, uh, it works perfect, perfect, perfect. So, next I'm, I'm going to talk a little about why I make this leather. First, because Hedgehog Leather Works, they, their jobs are great, but they don't make um, a leather sheath for uh, for SE, for ESE 5 or any SE uh, knives, and and second, um, yes, they uh, they make they do make a very familiar uh, leather sheath for uh, Becker PK2. Uh, it can be it, uh, yeah, it's not recommended, but it can be used uh, on this knife. But what I don't like is they don't have a pouch. I n I really need a, a pouch um, on a sheath. Because I need to carry something uh, to help buy Star Works or uh, or uh, to me, for example, this little box of dental floss. Yeah, it, it's for my teeth. I got a problem with my teeth, so uh, it's very important to me. So what I want to say is that I'm really inspired and uh, encouraged by uh, the spirit of Paul Scheider himself and many. Um, makers uh, of their own uh, leather sheath on the internet and on the YouTube and I think if anybody else can do it why can't I so uh, that's that's how it gets how it started the whole thing started and now it's finished the um, of course it, this is just the first piece it, 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 it's even just for uh, not for me <laughs> I mean it's for a for a right-handed person. I'm gonna make one for myself next time, and with all the uh, improvement. Um, and I want to thank you all the uh, all all people which give uh, that gave me uh, ideas and inspirations and um, uh, oh yes, this is not definitely not for sale. It's just for me. It's just for fun. I mean, for uh, it's my hobby. Um, it doesn't carry any commercial purposes on it. I'm not gonna make it sold, so uh, don't worry about it. So uh, that's pretty much everything about it. Uh, let me know what you think, and thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.